Well, how's everyone doing? Today, we're going to tell you the story. Uh, the story of a valiant prince. Yeah, he was very brave prince. Well, I want to tell you more, but maybe I won't tell you. Uh, you can watch it yourselves. I hope you like it. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, and tell your little friends to watch it too. Okay. Bye. There was a very powerful king, King Louis III. The king was noble, just, and had a great army at his disposal. His castle, atop the hill, could be seen from a thousand leagues away, thanks to its brilliance and splendor, as it was built with gold, platinum, emeralds, and precious stones. The king's wealth was due to a beach in his kingdom where the sea would wash up diamonds instead of seashells. It was one of the most coveted realms among all the kingdoms. That is why its borders were always well protected. Its wealth was incomparable. But nothing compared to the greatest treasure of the kingdom, his daughter Olivia. The most beautiful princess that had ever existed. Olivia was beautiful, noble, sweet, and wise, and she was always in a good mood. She enjoyed walking through the castle gardens and eating wild fruits. One day... King Louis III summoned his daughter. Olivia, my daughter. I have been thinking about it for a long time. He said in a paternal tone. Since your mother disappeared, I am not the same. I miss her dearly. I miss her too, Papa. You know that one day you will be the queen of this entire empire, right? Father, I don't want to think about that. I know, my dear but that's why it's important to find a good husband for you. I am still very young, and so are you. We both have a duty to fulfill. Besides, I will always be here. He said, pointing to his heart. And even though you can rule these lands alone, it's good for you to have a man, strong and brave, who loves you more than anything. The princess knew that her father was right. One day she would have to get married, she couldn't take care of the entire kingdom on her own. But with whom? You're right, father. I will do as you ask. But I have a wish to make. Tell me, my daughter. You know I cannot deny you anything. I want to go to the village for a day, but not as a princess. I want to know what it feels like to be a common girl. But, my daughter, that is very dangerous. Please, papa. Grant me this wish. It's the only thing I ask of you before getting married. Very well. But some men from my guard will secretly follow you. The village closest to the castle was a very small but picturesque village. It had a water well in the center of the square. Merchants of all kinds offered silk, fine herbs, jewelry, and all sorts of food, while people strolled from one place to another, searching for something they knew they would eventually find. A young, handsome, and kind man approached a merchant. Excuse me. Do you know which way to go to reach the kingdom of the Seven Lakes? It is a very distant kingdom, the merchant said in a friendly tone. It will take you at least a week to get there. But you can take the path that goes west. Thank you, sir. As he turned around to continue his journey, the young man bumped into a young lady, causing her to drop some fruits she was carrying in a basket. Excuse me. I didn't see you. As he couldn't have seen her, the young man thought. She was the most beautiful girl his eyes had ever seen. Quickly, he bent down to help her pick up the fruits. Don't worry. The girl said to the young man. And when she looked into his eyes, she noticed something that caught her attention. A special sparkle in his eyes that she had never seen before. I'm just passing through. Heading to the kingdom of the Seven Lakes. That kingdom is very far. Where are you from? The princess asked. I'm from the village of Modawar, north of here. And I've heard that there is great wealth in that kingdom. I'm going to try my luck. What? You didn't see me? And with those beautiful eyes. 
I'm sorry. The young girl blushed and realized she shouldn't have said that. Before going there, you could stay a couple of days in the village to rest. I had thought about it, but there would have to be a very compelling reason for me to stay. And looking straight into the girl's eyes. I think it won't be difficult to find one in this village full of beautiful things. The king's guards watched the princess and the young man from afar. But it wasn't just the guards who watched the couple. A mysterious young woman couldn't stop staring at them, especially at the young man. Who will be the mysterious girl? Who? Who? Is the prince going to discover that the maiden was the princess? Oh, what will happen? And why did the princess want to go to the kingdom of the seven legs? Maybe because he wanted to learn how to swim. <laughs> I don't know. Well... Uh, don't miss the next episode. It's going to be very nice, okay? I hope you also watch it and enjoy it a lot. I am Mr. Pelochas. And I'm going to tell you many stories. But right now, we're just with the prince. Oh, and I forgot. I don't know if the king was good or bad. He looked good, but... Mm, uh, let's see what happened, okay? Bye!